Hello again, it's Reverend Chris Taylor here, and today I'm going to read a fabulous story called Five Minutes Peace by Jill Murphy. It's about a very busy, noisy family. The children were having breakfast. This was not a pleasant sight. Mrs Large took a tray from the cupboard. She set it with a teapot, a milk jug, her favourite cup and saucer, a plate of marmalade toast and a leftover cake from yesterday. There we go. There's all the ingredients. She stuffed the morning paper into her pocket and sneaked off towards the door. That's a busy picture, isn't it? Can you see all the things that are happening in it? Looks a bit chaotic, doesn't it? Where are you going with that tray, Mum? asked Laura. To the bathroom, said Mrs Large. Why? said the two other children. Because I want five minutes peace from you lot, said Mrs Large. That's why. Can we come? asked Lester as they trailed up the stairs behind her. No, said Mrs Large, you can't. What shall we do then? asked Laura. You can play, said Mrs Large, downstairs by yourselves and keep an eye on the baby. I'm not a baby, muttered the little one. Of course, he probably is. I think he's the baby of the family anyway. Mrs Large ran a deep hot bath. She emptied a half bottle of bath foam into the water, plonked on her bath hat and got in. She poured herself a cup of tea and lay back with her eyes closed. It was heaven. Can I play you my tune? asked Lester. Mrs Large opened one eye. Must you? she asked. I've been practising, said Lester. You told me to. Can I, please, just for one minute? Go on then, sighed Mrs Large. So Lester played. He played Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star three and a half times. In came Laura. Can I read you a page of my reading book? She asked. No, Laura, said Mrs Large. Go on, all of you, off downstairs. You let Lester play his tune, said Laura. I heard you like him better than me. It's not fair. Oh, don't be silly, Laura, said Mrs Large. Go on then, just one page. So Laura read. She read four and a half pages of Little Red Riding Hood. In came the little one with a trunk full of toys. For you, he beamed, flinging them all into the bath water. Thank you, dear, said Mrs Large, weakly. Great, isn't it? Can I see the cartoons in the paper? asked Laura. Can I have the cake? asked Lester. Can I get in with you? asked the little one. Mrs Large groaned. <sighs> in the end, they all got in. The little one was in such a hurry that he forgot his pyjamas. Mrs Large got out. She dried herself, 
put on her dressing gown and headed for the door. Where are you going now, Mum? asked Laura. To the kitchen, said Mrs Large. Why? asked Lester. Because I want five minutes peace from you lot, said Mrs Large. That's why. She looks quite grumpy there, doesn't she? And off she went downstairs, where she had three minutes and 45 seconds of peace. Before they all came to join her. What a cracking story. That's it. See you again soon. Bye bye.